In this movie, we want to show how to link different worksheets by way of formulas and also different workbooks. We need to have two files open. One is for regional sales and also, and if you have opened it, you'll know on the view tab, click switch windows, employee table. If you do have multiple workbooks open, you can switch back and forth between them by way of the switch windows button on the view tab or simply pressing control tab. If you have more than two open, you'll press control tab sometimes repeatedly to get to the other files. With only two files open, control tab is a fast way to move back and forth. In the workbook called regional sales, we've got a sheet called regional totals. And what we'd like to do here in cell B2 is to gather the retail totals from the different sheets. So we begin with the equal sign and rather than typing in sheet names and cell addresses, we'll click the East sheet and then click cell F4 that has the retail total. Then a plus, and we'll do the same thing with the Midwest sheet. Each time going to the appropriate cell and clicking plus, then the South sheet, same thing there. And then finally the Pacific sheet, and then enter. And that's our total. As I double click here to expose the formula, you see in each case, we've got the sheet name followed by an exclamation point, something you wouldn't instinctively know, and then the address. And we see that for each of these. You never want to be typing these. The clicking method that we used here is most efficient. Uh, we don't have to worry about any kind of typing errors here either. And by the way, sheet names can have spaces in them. Nothing wrong with that, but it does make some formulas look a little bit more complex. I don't put a space in Midwest, but I will, for the example here, change the name of Midwest to Mid Space West. And now let's take a look at this formula. Still the same answer, it's still correct, but Midwest now is embedded in single quotes as well. And so sometimes formulas will look a bit longer, a bit more complex if they're gathering data from multiple locations, if the sheet names have spaces in them can't truly undo this, so we'll press escape and double click on Midwest to get rid of that space. Now, sometimes you need to gather information by way of formulas from different workbooks. So let's press control tab and go to the other workbook. And on the furniture sales sheet out in column J and to the right, we want to gather data from the other workbook. We want the couches total from the other workbook. Let's press equal. How do we get to the other workbook? Control tab will get us there pretty fast. We need to go to the East sheet and pick up the couches total in B8 and then plus go to the Midwest sheet, do the same kind of thing. And then a plus South sheet and so on. And Pacific, pick up the cell reference and enter. And this formula is substantially longer than the previous one. We're gathering data not only from different worksheets, but from different worksheets in a completely different workbook. Much more complex in terms of its appearance. The actual cells being added, not that difficult really. References to different workbooks are automatically embedded in brackets. So we see that here. So anytime you've got a formula with brackets in it, it means that you're getting information from a different workbook. When you're setting up these formulas, you want to have the other workbook open. But at some point, you might close the other workbook, and that raises the question as to what will this look like then? So I'm going to go back to the other workbook and simply close this workbook. File, close. And I'll even save the changes. So what do we see now? Much, much, much longer. And of course, this will vary widely depending upon where it's being saved, but that other workbook is being saved on the C drive in this computer, in the users folder, in the folder with my name on it, in the desktop folder, in the exercises folder, in the, and so on and so on and so on. So all of this here represents data from one cell. And then we see the others. It certainly makes life a lot more complex looking in this situation, but it does work. So when you're setting up these formulas, the other workbook needs to be open so you can achieve this much more readily. And then if you happen to close the other file, you will see what we're seeing here. So linking data from different workbooks by way of formulas, or more likely and easier, linking data from different worksheets by way of formulas is something you want to keep an eye on. It's not uncommon, and you'll see them frequently in Excel workbooks.